Hi Libra, I trust you are well and that you will have an amazing mid-month. Thank you for tuning in to watch your video. I really appreciate it. Um, please remember to check your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign in your birth chart. If this reading might not resonate for you, where your Sun, your Moon and your Rising might resonate better. Whatever resonates for you, keep that and leave the rest. You've got the Age of Light. You've been training for this for a lifetime. This is really a beautiful card, Libra. You've been training for this for a lifetime. So yeah, take what resonates for you. Leave the rest. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell to stay informed. And let's quickly see what does Libra need to know. Most important messages for Libra mid-month, July. Most important messages for Libra mid-month. 19th and the 26th of July. Most important messages for Libra. What does Libra need to know in love, work, career, family? I'm going to cut the deck again. Let's quickly see Libra. It seems that your energy doesn't want to really come out. And I do feel for some Libra people out there, you guys are possibly in a bit of hermit mode. Because my moon is a Libra. The hermit. <laughs> you see, you see guys, oh my word, I'm going to read this for you. <laughs> Time spent in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude. Shine your light as example to others. Seek out or become a spiritual mentor. Self-discovery. Okay, Libra. <laughs> it is amazing how these things work sometimes. It's amazing. Okay, so most important. Okay, you've got make the necessary sacrifices. Now this can be in an area in your life regarding family, friends or love. Um, but I do see you guys a little bit in hermit mode as I've said earlier. Um, You've been training for this, for this event in your mind for a very long time. Let's really see what does my beautiful Libra people need to know. Libra. What does Libra need to know? Okay. This is too many. I'm not going to take all of them. One card for Libra, please. One card for Libra. Sure. Okay. Giving birth. This feels like the world card. I'm bringing forth new and dynamic energy into this world. This is really a beautiful card. I'm just gonna, yeah, that's my better. That coincides with you've been training for this for a lifetime and the hermit. You are currently going through possibly a new transformational cycle in your life, Libra. And I do feel that this cycle might not be very easy on you currently. But the thing is, let go and release what no longer serves you. Your highest best in your life. It's not always worth it to keep something that doesn't serve your higher self anymore. But let's quickly see what does the angel answers want to tell you. Because with hermit mode, take action. And I feel that you are ready. 
you are ready for severe labor. Giving birth is the death and the rebirth, the world card, ending of an old, starting something new. Um, and it's a lengthy process. It takes time. Okay, this card wanted to fall out. I'm not reading reversals. So let's quickly let's do it like this. What else does Libra need to know? My deck is. <sighs> That's why the cards came out. You've got the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I'm going to put that over there. And it basically coincides with that. Going through a, a difficult cycle, Libra. Yeah. General energy, the world. Yeah. Okay. So, Libra, and I mean, I, I feel you guys because my Libra is in moon, in, in my moon, and um, it is not an easy process. It's not. I do understand. So, basically. You've got, you've been training for this for a lifetime. You've got the hermit mode, and I mean, this is basically going inwards, thinking and contemplating about things, possibly letting go and releasing of things that doesn't serve you anymore. You're possibly ready to make the necessary sacrifices regarding the situation, this person, or even a work situation, and you are in this process. Of giving birth to something new in your life some Libra people might be during this time giving birth now as well and that is also not a very easy um, you know situation to go through but the thing is you are giving life to something new you are changing your goals and yourself to bring something new into fruition you are ready with taking the action card, you are ready. You with the strength is telling me that you, Libra, are very courageous. You are very, very courageous as a person. Because, I mean, as we all know, with the strength, you've got the infinity symbol there, the eight. Um, no one will put their hands in a lion's mouth. No one. But you are standing in your power and you are standing in your strength against either this is self-sabotage or someone within your current circle of friends or family that is not very upfront and honest with you that is a bit deceitful possibly as well but you are standing in your strength against this current energy and feeling in your life this card with temperance it's asking you to exercise some balance possibly balance regarding hermit mode and you know a sociable mode it's also asking you to have balance in your work family and love to exercise some balance i do believe that this is um, archangel gabriel or michael possibly it's saying also that you and your family are protected with the wheel of fortune it's telling you that you are ending off an old cycle starting something new the Wheel of Fortune can be the Wheel of Luck, and it's also the Wheel of Karma. And the general energy is the World God with the snake that eats itself, all your bottles. Now, you might be doing with um, someone that's playing a significant, you know, um, part in your life. It might be a Leo, it might be a Taurus, um, it might be a Scorpio. It might be a Aquarius person, a fixed sign that's playing a big role in your life now. This person that's playing a big role in your life, even if it's family or friends or love, is making you feel like this, the wounded warrior possibly with the Nine of Wands. But every time, Libra, we come back to the strength, you stand up, you stand up, you don't give in. With your Libra card, it says here, bring peace into your life. 
and your relationships will flourish now it is regarding a relationship matter it's asking you to bring peace in your relationships exercise balance if you're currently in a committed relationship it's telling me that your, your relationship is possibly going to go through a new cycle of rebirth. Ending of an old, starting something new. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. You know, if you're in a committed relationship and you're going towards something better within your current relationship. For single Libra, Libra, Libra people out there, it is meaning as well, you are ending of an old cycle, starting something new with someone. The current zodiac signs that I see here for you, Libra, that is might play a big part in your life, is a Leo, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sagittarius, or you've got your fixed signs, your Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, and Taurus, that might play a big role, and then there's a little bit of fire, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, um, that might might play a significant role in your life. So yeah, I mean, you are in the hermit mode currently. And I feel you guys, I really feel you. But it's saying you you are ready. You are ready to take action. So yeah, I hope this could help Libra. And then yeah, please like and subscribe. Help me, my channel grow. Keep well, stay safe, and thank you for tuning in.